talking and then I realized that it wasn't very interesting. So I stopped and I came downstairs to see if I could have some lunch and then I knew exactly what I needed to do for my video. I needed to make bacon. I'm going to talk to you guys and make some bacon. So I know that I haven't seen you in a while and I guess I just really needed to take a bit of a break from making videos last week because I made a lot of videos last week. Wah, bacon! Um, I apologize in advance to any vegetarians watching. Because I actually didn't make a video for a week after I made my last Cross 49th video. But since I made that video then a Cross 49th uh, kind of exploded and along with that my subscribers. Um, although I had actually passed the 100 mark last week. And now I think I'm at 133. And that's really exciting. Because I made a lot of stuff that I'm really proud of and it makes me really happy to see that other people think that it's kind of interesting too. So to all 133 of you, thanks so much. I really, really appreciate it. Mm. It's my brother's birthday on the 3rd of July and he's having his birthday party tomorrow. So my dad made a cake. So uh... The one thing that I have been thinking about after having got 100 subscribers and especially after my subscriber count surpassed my subscription count, is that after a point it becomes really hard to get to know each and every one of your subscribers. And I think that's too bad. Because I know at the beginning of Vita that I knew pretty much everyone who subscribed to me simply because I had so few, like 15 or 20. And every time someone new subscribed to me, I would go and check out their channel, watch their videos, say hi, and generally we'd become friends because I didn't know that many people. But now, although there are so many people, it's really hard to do that, and although I'm definitely going to go through and check out all your channels. The fact is, I'm just not going to be able to get to know all of you personally, which makes me sad. While I was traveling last fall, I met so many interesting people and I have to say I became addicted to meeting people. And YouTube's been really great for that. I've met so many neat people and I continue to meet neat people. But one kind of depressing thought is the fact that, like music, there are so many cool people out there and I just don't have enough time in my life to get to know them all. And I do think it's really sad, because I feel like I get along really well with many of you. And then, like, next year when I go off to university, I know I'm going to meet so many more interesting people, and all through my life I'm just going to keep meeting these interesting people, and the fact is, I'm never going to be able to hold them all in my head. And I think Facebook's really good for this. I find that the primary purpose of Facebook in my life is to make me not forget about the people I know and the people I meet. But it's still not the same as really knowing them and chatting through them on Skype or hanging out with them in person. And I'm sorry, I want you to know that I'm really sorry that I'm not going to be able to get to know all of you. But I just don't have the time. So what I can do in lieu, I guess, is ask you to tell me some things about yourself. Where do you live? What's your name? How old are you? What do you like? Do you like bacon? Or Doctor Who? Or the internet? Or math? Or Harry Potter? Or science? Or literature? Or art? Or just doing nothing? Yeah, I'd really appreciate that. I would like to know who you are, because I expect that you are a wonderful person. So I guess you could say this is my 100 subscribers video. It's kind of funny, because I'm just basically asking you to do something. I'm not actually doing anything for you. And I feel like it's a bit of a cop-out, because I'm not really doing something creative and wonderful and insightful. But I'm sorry, I can't do that all the time, because I'm only human, and I made an insightful video for Across the Burn Night yesterday, so there. Mmm, bacon. So yes, that's it for me. Tell me about yourself in comments and I will see you soon.